Hey guys, we recently launched automated collection bidding, but now we are releasing automated collection bidding with trades. So in other words, trade collection bidding. So here you see a template that I created already uh, with the collections and the selected trades. However, let me create one from the beginning. Actually, we can maybe pick a random collection that is trending right now. So let's go to NFT in it and these ones maybe beer things, bear things. I think this one is collection bidding enabled. So what I mean by that is not all collections provide this utility. I will just go to OpenSea to check. And here, when you click on make collection offer, if the attributes are showing, in other words, if you can choose the attributes, it means that you can uh, select the traits, you can select the properties. However, not all collections have it, but it is becoming more of a common thing. Oh, for instance, toxic birds, they don't have it. Uh, and bear things, they have it. I think it's en enabled by the collection owner and it is becoming more and more popular. So let's go to the website and let's uh, pick bear things. Uh, this is the collection bidding screen. The thing is, if the collection trade bidding is enabled on this collection, when you add this collection to your template, uh, it automatically loads the trades so you can pick them. Depending on the data size, meaning depending on how many different trades a collection has, this uh, table might take longer to load. So, for instance, there are collections like Hey Prime with like if I'm not wrong, thousands of trades, then it's going to take a little bit longer to load. But usually it is quite fast, as you just saw. So uh, I'm not going to go into details and strategies, but maybe I should just talk about them briefly. So what I usually do is when I pick the trades, I search for the recent activity of them. So I check if they were recently sold and for how much. So the thing is, especially for older collections, sometimes you will see trades that has sold for like 20 Ethereum, like 15 Ethereum or 5 Ethereum, but maybe it was five months ago. So it is extremely important that there is recent activity on that trade. This is a super new collection, uh, but let's check it anyway. So here, for instance, when I click on this trade on nftnet.com, it will just filter out the NFTs, who has special debt property and you see that the last sales were around this price range. Another way of doing this is you can just go to OpenSea. On OpenSea, you can on, on the left side, you can just pick any trait. Let's try to pick something rare. This is a longer way of doing it, obviously. Medusa and then if you click on recently sold, it will show you the last sale on that trade. So the last sale was for 0.14, 0.15, and it was three hours ago. But you can do the same thing faster here. Another way of doing it is, uh, so when you click on the trades on this table, it shows the trade floor here. So again, this gives you an idea, but I strongly suggest you to go to collection analytics page and check it here and you can still double check on OpenSea. Okay, so let's go back and pick some trades. Uh, so I'm just going to, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to check the activity of the uh, trades one by one. However, some of them are going to be obvious. For instance, this one, Body Zombie, should I zoom in a little bit? Uh, yeah. So for instance, this one, Zombie, has only five of them in the collection and the trade floor is 0.5. Uh, what was the trade uh, floor of, what was the collection floor? It was 0 0.03, right? So, yeah, this is a quite low, high uh, trade floor compared to the collection floor. I can still pick this one because it's selling almost two times more than the collection floor price. So it, it's actually dependent uh, on your uh, strategies. So whatever you do. Is actually there is no wrong thing to do here you can pick these trades and offer something below the floor price it's entirely up to you i'm just going to pick some rare trades like i'm going to play 
and start to get sick by the direction force. That's it. This one, this one, this one, and then some head gears. So this one, this one, and some mouse maybe. That is a special one, mouse. And this one you can pick because we're not going to be offering super high. Yeah, this one's a special one, and then you can pick the legendaries as well. So the thing is, you ca I can pick them. Let me actually pick them. But the thing is, it doesn't make so much sense to pick them when you are doing collection bidding, because there is only one of it is one of a kind, right? There is only one Persian rock NFT. There is only one NFT with this trait, in other words. So it's actually faster to do this with regular bidding. However, for the sake of the video, I'm just adding them. I mean, uh, what I think usually is this, uh, like picking ones, picking traits with like higher quantities, like Roman armor or wedding dress or whatever, uh, gives you a better competitive edge because anyone who's doing a regular bidding, they have to make 27 offers, but you can just uh, complete it with one offer. And in some collections, there are some trades which have hundreds of them and they are selling for like five times more than the floor price. And other people just have to click on them one by one or just use the automation, but it is still going to send bids one by one while you can only send a collection trade offer and it's just going to take like 10-15 seconds. It's going to be extremely faster for you. Anyway, I added them. And, and as you see, the system added each trade to a different row, to a different thread. Uh, these are all called threads. So there is actually plenty of them. And let's use the competitive and loop options too. So the competitive works slightly different on this one. The collection floor price is 0.3. So I'm just going to offer... Uh, Actually, I'm going to offer below the collection price so you see how the competitive works. And I am going to go up to 0.05. This is my maximum, by the way. It doesn't mean that it will go up there. However, if there is another collection offer at 0.03, it is going to go slightly above 0.03. So I'm just going to apply everything. Normally, I should go and check one, one by one in order to make like meaningful uh, bits, right? Because if I offer uh, like 0.05 to something like zombie or to a legendary one, probably it's not going to make much sense. And competitive here works slightly different than our regular bidding uh, mechanism. Here you compete with the collection offers. In the regular competitive mode, you compete with the other bits on the particular NFT. However, on this one, it doesn't really make sense because you only make one bit for the entire trade. So what the system does is see the system uh, competes with other collection offers on the trade. And I'm going to be using the private key as well. The difference of private key is I'm still getting this question. It automates things. If you don't use the private key, you sh then would need a mouse clicker like this to make it automated for you. Okay, let's let's export the private key and let's start moving. Uh, tut -tut -tut -tut. All right. So when you, uh, okay, okay, there is like the stop value and other stuff here, which is which are dynamic options and all, or you can put a delay for the looping, but I already talked about these so many times, so I'm not really going to go into details now. Uh, so I will click on submit bits. What happens here is if the collection, actually, you know, dem let me demonstrate it. If the default bit is higher than the collection floor, then the system is going to give you a warning here. It will tell you that some collections have higher default bit than the floor price. I'm just going to go back to 0.02 and I'm going to start submitting my bits. Uh, okay, now let's go to OpenSea and let's go to my profile. Uh, yeah, it started already. Oh, I just sold another one. Man, I sold so many of these NFTs. Even my uh, in my previous video, I mentioned about how the how you can make flips with limited budgets, and then uh, it, I really like doing it for fun while I'm like just working on other stuff. And I re flipped like so many of the and it's actually good probability. 
Uh, I just keep doing it. I, let's see where it's where it's going to be stopping. <coughs> All right. So yeah, it it is actually yeah. It sometimes opens the legs like that, and everything comes in uh, comes at once. So it is about like ten seconds, I would say. Uh, it, it's between ten and twenty seconds, but right now it's going on with like ten seconds uh, in in between each bit. So let's see what happened here. I placed a bit of all point. Oh, uh, 251. So let's go. It is this trade. As you see, it competed with the other collection bits. This is already above my limit. I, I'm, I was, my limit was what? Uh, I think 0.05, right? Okay, so this person didn't use a collection bit, I think. Let's see. Probably he is just manually, uh, yeah, these are, you see, these are regular bits. Uh, so I'm not competing with it because he might be offering different values for each NFT or each trade and or in within each trade he might be offering, offering different prices. Uh, so I am here competing with the other collection bits. And um, let's check this one, see if it is a collection bit. I'll just go here. Yeah, you see, there is the other collection offers. So I am beating this one. It doesn't matter if it is a collection trade bit or a regular uh, collection bit. It's it's going to outbid the collection of offer depending your uh, depending on your criteria. Yes. Yeah. So this is basically how it works. Uh, and once it finishes, it's going to start looping again. Uh, that's what the loop does. Let's check again. Let's see how the bits are going. Uh, yeah, as you see, it just keeps placing the bits on the criteria that I, I picked. All right, that is how it works. Uh, this is going to be in beta for now, and we are going to get the feedbacks again the usual way. Then we are going to improve it. Then we are going to take it to live version. So still be careful while you are using it. However, it is very functional, as you see in the video. Have a good one everyone. I hope this helps with your flips and your profitability. Profit profitability. <laughs>